In the south suburbs of London, UK, you can see life-size dinosaur sculptures. They're known as the Crystal Palace Dinosaurs. A collection of about 30 sculptures of prehistoric creatures created by Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins in the 1850s. Sir Richard Owen, who coined the term dinosaur, oversaw the project. On display are the first named dinosaurs. Megalosaurus, Iguanodon, and Hylaeosaurus, as well as other prehistoric creatures. They were the first 3D full-scale models of dinosaurs. They are important because they show the changing nature of science. As we've learned more, our ideas about dinosaurs have evolved. In the 1850s, only a few dinosaur fossils were known. Hawkins and Owen debated how to portray them. Owen wanted to be as scientifically accurate as possible. and only show parts of the body. Hawkins wanted to show more. Water surrounds the sculptures, and the water levels change throughout the day. Sometimes visitors saw the whole body, and other times they saw only part of the body. Hawkins added many details to his sculptures. He included the bones on the ichthyosaur fins. He also gave the Mosasaur two rows of teeth. Of course, not everything was correct. The horn on the nose of Iguanodon was actually a thumb spike. To make the setting more accurate, Ammonites and cycads were added. As well as rocks from different periods of time, such as limestone from the Dorset coast. The geologic layers helped explain the concept of deep time to visitors in the Victorian age. water divides the islands to signify deep time. Each island represents a period of time, such as the Mesozoic. The water also represents the unknowns of the 1850s. Crystal Palace Park opened in 1854. The sculptures have had a couple rounds of conservation work, including Iggy. And sculptures in the water that were most at risk. The park is free to visit and has an estimated 1.82 million visitors per year. 
about half visit the dinosaurs. To make the Crystal Palace dinosaurs even better to visit, friends of Crystal Palace dinosaurs are raising money until December 17th, 2018. They'll build a bridge, then people can get up close and personal with Iggy and his friends. <laughs> 